Hi everyone, Gothany Utano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. Not at home, in a hotel room. But still gonna do a review of the new Hopalong record, Painted Shut. Hopalong is a rock quartet who currently, I believe, is based out of Philly. They've been at it for 10 years now. They have a few albums to show for it, but even though they have just a little bit of material, underground rock fans have had an incredibly passionate response to the music they've released thus far. A few years ago, the band's full-length LP, Get Disowned, I thought was a little rough around the edges, but turned quite a few heads, especially thanks to the singing and songwriting abilities of frontwoman Frances who really stole the show on that record. She is she is an incredible vocalist. She has this insane rasp to her voice when she's singing, especially as she's just reaching up, just pushing the volume of her voice. It sounds like a saxophone just being played very aggressively, or maybe like overdrive distortion, but uh, on a vocal level or something like that, or, or maybe even like a, a cat. But even as Frances is reaching up there and really pushing her vocals, really busting her vocal cords at the seams, she holds an incredible amount of pitch and melody, and of course there's a lot of emotion fueling these intense vocal performances too. And this vocal talent continues onto this new LP as well, Painted Shut. On the instrumental side of things, on this LP, there is a small but healthy range of rock flavors kind of influencing things. Everything from alternative singer-songwriters to indie rock and punk and pop rock. If you're a fan of Pile or Speedy Ortiz or Waxahachie, I, th I, th I think you're gonna get something out of this record. Not only that, but the closing track on here just has such a strong Strokes vibe and the guitar work, the very twangy, thin guitar work on the song Horseshoe Crabs reads very much like a Modest Mouse song. So like a lot of artists out there, hop along, grab ideas from their influences, but they execute them tastefully and they are just laying with fantastic vocals, fantastic distinct vocals, and really good songwriting too. The LP is kind of diverse as well, diverse enough to make listening to the whole thing enjoyable. On the song Horseshoe Crabs as well, this track kind of breaks up the track listing because it's a bit of a piano tune too, which is a pretty nice change of pace from the mostly guitar-driven tracks in the track listing here. There's also the song Happy to See Me, which is an acoustic cut. Not one of my favorites on here, mostly because the acoustic guitar doesn't really sound all that great kind of distorted and flat and very quiet in comparison to the vocals. And uh, on top of it, I'm not really sure Francis's vocal acrobatics and just bleeding on this track really complements the toned down sound of this instrumental, though her performance is passionate and I'm pretty sure I hear harp on this track. That was nice. For the most part, I find myself being drawn toward the very succinct, hooky, loud, blaring, just no BS, direct, more rock-oriented songs in the track listing here. And it's not just because they're full of energy or, or anything like that, it's because the songs beneath this rock instrumentation are really catchy and really memorable. Like on the opener here, the knock. The witness just wants to talk to you. One of the most unusual topics I've ever heard in a song ever. I love the heavy guitars on the chorus here, the very harmonious bridge. The song Waitress has a kind of odd tale to it in the lyrics as well, kind of singing about uh, Francis as a waitress having a bit of a weird encounter with somebody and his friends who I think she might have had a past with. And she channels that frustration perfectly into a really just instantaneous song with a pretty sticky guitar phrase at the very beginning too. The knack this album has for delivering great indie rock tunes with some interesting lyrical quirks continues onto tracks like I Saw My Twin and Texas Funeral and especially with one of my favorite tracks here, Powerful Man, which is a bit of a tale of like just kind of for a moment, seeing an abusive father hit his kid in public and then going to, I guess, kind of get him in trouble for it, but uh, sort of lacking the details to give an adequate description. Again, some weird tales fueling these songs, but it's part of the enjoyability of the album. Instrumentally, musically, I don't really think Hopalong is reinventing the wheel 
all that much. Uh, maybe on a future record I would love to see some more sonic experimentation, or at least some slightly better production, though I, I will give it to them that they did improve things production-wise and recording-wise on this record over Get Disowned. And, you know, even if they kind of stay in this lane and continue down the path that they're continuing, uh, Frances still sounds like she's going to be uh, a fantastic voice for the band, and hopefully her stories continue to be compelling and kind of off the beaten path as well. Uh, I'm feeling a strong 7 to a light 8 on this LP. Transition! If you've given this album a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, Hop Along, Painted Shut, Forever.